Here are 10 chord progressions that every beginner hand pump player should know. I'm going to split this video into two halves. The first is five minor chord progressions and the second half is five major chord progressions. Both of these halves work on any scale. I'm going to be demonstrating on the D chord and I will tell you the chord names as we go through. But for anybody who doesn't have the same scale instrument as me, I will also be numbering the chords so that you can work it out on your own scale. If you're not quite sure how this works, I've linked a video down below that you can watch to learn about the numbering system um, and how to figure out chords and harmony on your instrument. All right, all of that out of the way, let's jump into chord one in the minor scale. So I'm on a D chord, which means that I'm going to be working in D minor. So my chord one is D minor. And this progression is one, six, three, seven, which is D minor, B flat, F, C. It's actually quite a chirpy, happy progression because it uses all of the major chords in the key. Uh, the only minor chord in it is chord one. progression is a little bit similar with a bit of a difference in the middle. It's one, five, six, seven. And on this instrument, that's D minor, A minor, B flat, and C. third progression, which is one, three, seven, six. D minor, F major, jumping to the major, C, G minor. So we've got a couple of these fun triangular shapes in this progression. to our fourth then we have one seven six five so we're moving down the scale for this one one seven six five and we have that kind of stepping down feeling almost it looks like this d minor c one for this minor chord progression section which is one seven five six so as usual we start with our D minor then we jump across to our C down to our A minor and across to our B flat 
one, seven, five, six. five chord progressions in the minor key. Let's have a look at these major scale chord progressions. So this first one is actually only three chords in a row rather than four, because that's a thing we can do. <laughs> we're starting on chord one, which now is our F major, because we're going to play in the key of F major instead of D minor. Then we have chord four, and then we have chord five. So this is all of the major chords um, within your scale. F, B flat, C. starting to add some little melody notes here and there between the chords to bridge the movement between each chord a little bit as well. And that starts to kind of lend itself to some natural melody already. So you can see how you can start to build melody into these progressions as well. All right, moving on to the next chord progression. <laughs> we have one, five, six, four. That is F, C, D minor, flat. Very common chord progression. within any of these progressions. Okay, the third one of the section then is one. <laughs> There's a pattern here, isn't there? We're about to break it in a moment. One, six, four, five. On a D chord, we have F, D minor, B flat, and C. second to last progression. We're not going to start on one this time, we're going to mix it up because we're getting to the end of the video and it's time to make things a bit more interesting, a bit spicier. So we're actually going to start on chord four for this one and then we're going to walk down from there, kind of like we did in one of the progressions in the minor section of this video. We're going to start on chord four and then step down, three, two, one. 4, 3, 2, 1, really easy to remember. And in the case of the D chord, that is B flat, A minor, G minor, and then finally, So we have a final chord progression now, 
and um, I've chosen to end on this one because it feels like a nice closing progression when you play this. When you play these three chords, one after the other, it feels like you've reached home. It feels like you've completed a composition. You've finished your song. Um, a couple of people have asked me in the past, how do you end an improvisation? How do you bring something to a close? Well, this is one concrete answer that I can give you, and that is a 2-5-1. And what do I mean by that? Chord two, chord five, and landing on home, your chord one. In this case, on a D chord, playing in F major, that would be G minor, C, and F. And then you slow that last chord down, it really feels like it's ending. Um, if you use bass notes, even more satisfying. groove into some of these progressions that you've learned, then I recommend checking out this video next. And what I would love for you to do is to take that groove and then ignore everything that I say about how to develop it further, but actually implement a chord progression from this video instead and see how you can combine those skills to create your own composition.